This is Heart Rhythm TV and I'm Ambrose Panico. I'm pleasure to be here to talk about today's late-breaking clinical trials on CIEDs. I happen to be there to listen to Dr. Crossley talk today, standing room only at the back of the room, but it was really exciting. So welcome, Dr. Crossley. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. So. Um, the leader trial, everybody's been waiting, everybody's been in anticipation, super excited about this. Uh, really interested to hear what you think are the, the big takeaways and the important things people need to know about this trial. Well, I think, I think the important thing that you need to know about that lead is it's a lead that's designed based on a pacing lead which has been incredibly successful and incredibly reliable for the last 20 years. And this lead is actually an upsized version of that lead, not the approach we've usually taken in the past with defibrillator leads, is to take a defibrillator lead and shrink all the elements and make it smaller. And so by using this technology that we've been using for 20 years, what, what the leader study showed is by all of our clinical results and by the predictive bench testing, it looks like it's incredibly reliable. And it, it was very successful at putting it wherever we wanted to put it in the heart, which is another big benefit of it. it it's designed both for reliability and for ease of placement. I think that's a really interesting point because you know one of the biggest concerns about device implantation is what happens when we put the lead in those vulnerable areas. And by having a luminless, you know, a sheath delivered lead, you're basically making it an even safer procedure. And as you pointed out taking a known workhorse and applying it in a new way, it's great. I think the, the, the opportunities are really exciting. It is, and, and, and hopefully the future will be even brighter with yeah. it. Now, I, I know our listeners want me to ask, you know what I'm about to ask, and that is everybody is talking about conduction system pacing. It's the new sexy pacing, everybody's excited. Where do you think this lead is gonna perform, or are you have any potential concerns about it in that space? Well, they, we are not ready to say this lead is, is ready for conduction system pacing, but we have started a clinical trial to answer that. And that, that trial just started enrollment in the last couple of weeks and will expand over the next, next few months. This lead is very similar to the 3830 lead that has been the workhorse for conduction system pacing for almost all of us. And uh, if, it, if, if the results we've had so far are borne out when it's in the septum, then things should be bright for it. We'll have to study this lead in a rigorous way, the same way we did uh, the, the 3830 and all of the other leads in the way I described in the, in the study. And, and that will be, um, in my mind, the most important part of the coming uh, um, conduction system trial. I think just knowing the vulnerability of that area and the, and the defibrillator coil, the sensing and, and our algorithms are going to be super important. And as you it, said, that's going to have to be... It is, but with a left bundle placement, it, it, the sensing is unlikely to be a problem. It, it, it's likely to work out well. The, the thing that we, we need to make sure about is its durability in that location is good. And certainly the study we did of the 3830 pacing lead in the conduction system looked very favorable. Very favorable, right. And the, the, predict, the prediction modeling you did was really impressive and showing what actually happens to those leads both in the heart and in, in the pocket was, was really remarkable to see that live. And that's an Im important part of looking at leads and trying to prospectively make sure that what, what is brought out is safe and gonna work out well exactly. long term. Exactly. Well, Thank you again for joining us. It's been a pleasure uh, getting to talk to you today. It, totally my pleasure. Thanks. This is Heart Rhythm TV. I'm Ambrose Panico. You can follow us on YouTube and social media on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, slash X. We look forward to seeing you back for some more late-breaking clinical trials.